Hi, this is lecture eight. Uh, let's see, lecture eight. Online lecture eight. So I will continue with the uh, projective algebraic sets. Uh, okay, remember. If uh, P is a point in in the projective space uh, over K, then uh, then P is uh, then P is represented by let's say a one, a two, a n plus one, like this. Uh, it's also represented, you can also, also multiply each point, by each component by some non-zero number lambda. And that's also equal to uh, lambda times A1, lambda times A2, uh, lambda times An plus one. And we said that for a polynomial, the polynomial F in uh, X1, X2, xn plus one, or well, we say that f of p is equal to zero if, uh, if uh, uh, let's say, uh, we may write it like this, f of lambda times a1, uh, lambda times a n plus one is equal to zero for all lambda, uh, namely, uh, lambda not zero, of course. Namely, this is uh, so that f uh, should be zero on all representatives of f p, and we also showed that uh, if we have an ideal generated by s, then uh, then the zero set of uh, zero set of this set S is equal to, this is S the set of subset of K X one X N plus one as usual. Uh, v S is, uh, is equal to V I, uh, just like in the fine case. And uh, uh, of course the ideal is finitely generated. Uh, so if A is generated by, let's say, A1 to A, B, etc. So this is finitely many uh, polynomials. Then this is also generated, and uh, this is also generated by A1, A2, etc. B1, B2, where, uh, where this a, a is equal to, let's say, A1, A2, Etc. These are the homogeneous uh, uh, parts of A. P is equal to B1 plus B2, etc. So some of them might be zero, of course. So uh, so the mm -hmm. an ideal an ideal uh, is generated by the homogeneous components of S. Okay. Uh, oops, yeah, oh, sorry, not, this is not true, this is not true. So what I meant is that uh, V of I, V of I is the same thing as the V of this set and the V of these polynomials are the same. Okay, yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, yeah, V of that set, zero set. Okay. B one, B two, except of course. So this is, of course, these are all finite dimensional sums here. This is their polynomials, and there are finite dimensional polynomials. Okay. Now here's the definition. Uh, this for an ideal i v i is called. Uh, a projective algebraic set. Uh, 
project will also be accepted. So let's see, let me give one example. How uh, do I have now? Okay, let me continue. Uh, here's another definition. I will give an example in a moment. Uh, let X be a subset of, so in as just like in the fine case, uh, so for an ideal, we have its zero set, and for a sub for a set, we have its ideal. Now we define its ideal for a set in the project space, uh, and let let X be a subset of P n, and let uh, I of X to be the set of polynomials. such that f of p is equal to zero. So this is in the sense uh, for all p, for all p in x. So this is in the sense of that we dis described the above. Namely, f of f p is a zero of f. And uh, it's easy to check that, uh, easy to check that, that this i of x, is an ideal, is an ideal, and it is called, uh, 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 I, of, I of X is called uh, the ideal of F, of the ideal of F, of X, sorry, the ideal of X. So here's an, uh, this, uh, this I of X has this property. Namely, so let uh, assume that F is F1, Fm, Fm plus one plus Fr. Suppose that this is in I of X, so that so that if P is in I of X, if P is in X, then F of P is equal to zero. And as we showed above, that F of these here Fi's are uh, homogeneous of degree, degree i, as usual. So if f of p is equal to zero, then at all the f of i's are zero at p, at every uh, representative of p. So that means that uh, f of i, so that f of m, f of m plus one, and these f, f r's are also in i of x. Oh, it's a nice property. So uh, I promised an example to give an example of an algebraic set. So here's an uh, example. So let's take P to be, uh, so remember before, let's, uh, in the affine case, let's look at the affine case. So remember, if we have a one point, if a one, uh, a n is a single point in A n, then uh, this one point set is algebraic, is algebraic. As we know, so uh, because it is, if you take the polynomial uh, f of x is f, uh, f is equal to x minus A1 uh, times x minus A2, so x1 minus A1, x2 minus A2, Blah, blah, xn minus a n, then, uh, then uh, uh, if you like, the zero set of f or, yeah, zero set of, uh, zero set of uh, this f uh, is precisely this uh, a1, a n. So remember this. Now, uh, suppose, so now let 
P, uh, let's say A1, A2, A n plus one B is single point in the projective space. Uh, let's show that this is this is uh, let's show that this the one point set P is algebraic is project uh, projective algebraic projective algebraic. So for this, remember. Uh, P is, if P, P can be also, be, if P is in the, since P is in Pn, one of the component, one of the AIs are zero, there exists an I such that AI is not zero. Uh, let's assume for the convenience that, uh, assume that uh, An plus one is not zero. So, uh, so we can assume is not zero. So that P is uh, also represented by A1 over uh, AN plus one, A2 over AN plus one, uh, AN over AN plus one, uh, and zero. So of course, AI over AN plus one, by this one we mean AI times a n plus one inverse in any field. Uh, okay. Uh, so if you look at this polynomial, uh, not zero, this is zero, not zero, one, five, sorry. So if you look at the polynomial uh, x1 minus uh, a1 over a n plus one, xn plus one, so the homogeneous polynomial, x2 minus a1 plus a n plus one x2, uh, xn plus one, sorry. Uh, and xn minus a n over a n plus one, xn plus one. So if you say this is a polynomial, it's a homogeneous polynomial, and uh, the zero set of F is precisely just P. So it is uh, all these, uh, all the representatives so of, uh, so if you look at F of uh, lambda A1, sorry, lambda A1, lambda A2, lambda AN plus one, is zero <clears throat> for all lambda not zero, even for lambda zero. If lambda is not zero, then uh, it is the zero of uh, lambda. It, it doesn't matter whether lambda is zero or not. This is always zero. F always, uh, F is a degree of uh, homogeneous deg degree of N and uh, it's only, zero of this F is the point P. Okay, so next. So as we said above, what, let me repeat here, look at this case. So if we have a, I have I of X, the polynomial, I of X has this property here that we said, if uh, if a polynomial is in I X, then each uh, form components, let's say homogeneous components of uh, homogeneous terms in F is also in I X. And we have a special definition for such an ideal. Uh, so here's the definition. An ideal ideal I in K X one X N plus one uh, is called homogeneous homogeneous if 
uh, for every for every uh, f is equal to f m plus f m plus one f m uh, f r sorry f r is in i where f i of is of degree is homogeneous of degree uh, degree i uh, homogeneous form of degree i uh, homogeneous polynomial degree form then we have uh, f of i is equal to i. Namely, whenever uh, the sum of homogeneous polynomials of degree, different degrees of course is in i, then each of these homogeneous uh, components, homogeneous terms should be in uh, the set, in the, uh, in the ideal. So that as we showed above, uh, not uh, for any set, if you take any set, if we take any set X in the projective space, then it is zero set. It is zero set. Uh, it's ideal, sorry. This ideal is, is a homogeneous ideal. The homogeneous ideal as we showed above. Okay. Namely, yeah. Uh, namely, if F, f of m, f of r, for example, this if this is in i x, then uh, then each of these f i's, uh, each of f i's are zero on the on the point of x, so that f i's all these f i's are uh, in i of x, as we showed above. Okay. Now here's the proposition. Proposition: An ideal, an ideal I in the polynomial ring of n plus one variables uh, is homogeneous. Homogeneous, if and only if. It is generated by a finite set of, it is generated by a finite set of forms. Uh, proof, of course it might be different uh, degrees. Okay, here is the proof this way. Suppose uh, I is homogeneous. I, uh, I is a homogeneous ideal. Ideal. So since uh, uh, this KX1 Remember this kx1, this polynomial ring is uh, uh, notarium. Notarium, so this implies that uh, this i is finitely generated. Generated. Then uh, let's say i is let me write that like this, A, A, B, C. This is finitely many. I, I write this way, but uh, finitely many. Uh, then, uh, then uh, 
then if a, a is a m plus a m plus one plus a r, if we like the, if we write like this, then, uh, or let me, yeah, uh, then each a i's are in uh, uh, i, because ideal is homogeneous. And similarly for B, so that, so that, uh, so that, so that the I is generated by, by a homogeneous uh, terms of A, A, B, C, etc. And there are finitely many. And conversely, and each 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 homogeneous term is homogeneous, of course. Uh, conversely, uh, suppose that uh, suppose that uh, S generates S is equal to if we write like this F of uh, alpha f of alpha is a set of, is a finite set of, is a finite set of, set of generating set. Uh, the ideal i. So we have an ideal such that degree of uh, f of alpha is d alpha, let's say. And let, so we will show that i is uh, homogeneous, right? So let, uh, let f is f m plus blah, 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 f r be in i where f i is a form of degree i. So m might be one, two. We, we may start from one because the constant, uh, uh, if we don't have the degree one terms, we just take it to be zero. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess we, I guess this way we write this, uh, this way we write, we don't take non-zero terms. Anyway, now it suffices to show that, let's show that Fm is in uh, I. So since F, Fm is in I, M, by induction, we, we can just, you can just continue that. So, so let's show this, let's write. So since uh, ideal is generated by these uh, set S, uh, since I F, F is in uh, I, so I, let me write like this, I is generated by the set S and uh, F is in I, so therefore we may write F as a sum of uh, uh, these F of alphas multiplied by some polynomials like this. And this is uh, Fm, Fm plus one, etc. Fr, uh, Fr, etc. Now, if you compare the terms, uh, so the, the right, right hand side, these are degree m, degree m plus one, etc. etc. This is degree r. So the, if you compare the degree m terms, degree M terms, uh, this is, uh, this will be the degree F of M will be, uh, F of M will be the F of alpha and uh, we multiply by something, some polynomial, let's say A alpha, 
terms of degree m minus d alpha, so that the total degree is m. Total degree is m. So that uh, we may write it like this. So that and similarly, f m plus one is similar. Uh, f m plus one and f r are similar. So that uh, uh, so that f m is so each, since each f of i is in i. This is Fm is in I, uh, so that if you like F minus Fm is equal to Fm plus one, blah, blah, Fr is in I, so that Fm plus one is in I, etc. So by induction, or uh, you just go by finite way step, uh, induction. Fm, Fm plus one, and all these f of r's are in i. So therefore, i is a homogeneous ideal. I is a homogeneous ideal. Now, uh, we will talk about the irreducible algebraic sets. Projective algebraic sets, of course. Uh, an algebraic set. Algebraic set, uh, projective algebraic set, of course. V in Pn uh, is called irreducible. If it is not the union of, so it's not the union of uh, two proper algebraic subsets. Of course, we don't take the empty set. <laughs> uh, if one of them is empty, the other one is V itself, so they don't touch. Uh, so let's, let me recall you this. Uh, an algebraic set, an algebraic set V in AN, uh, this, a fine algebraic set is irreducible if and only if uh, its ideal is prime, is a prime ideal. Uh, the same proof gives ideal is prime. The same proof gives we did this in the class, the same proof uh, gives this projective version of this uh, proposition. An algebraic set, the projective algebraic set. V in Pn uh, is is irreducible. Irreducible. If and only if I of V is prime. Okay, I will leave the proof as an exercise. Or homework, <laughs> better. And uh, we also have projective variety. That is definition. You may guess what's a projective variety. An irreducible 
uh, algebraic set. And Pn is, call, is called a projective variety. Let me write like this. Projective variety. Okay. And of course, if you take a, well, for a point P in Pn, namely the line in uh, An plus one, that represents a point, uh, then this one point set is, uh, is a projective variety. It's, of course, it is irreducible, is uh, a projective variety. Right, and why it is ideal is uh, prime. It's, it's ideal. It, it's, it's ideal is maximal, of course. Maximal the ideals are prime. And uh, also, just like as in the defined case, as in the defined case, any project algebraic set. Projective algebra can can uniquely be written can be uniquely written within as a union of projective varieties. Okay, so we have two operations for between, uh, we have two operations. Operations between uh, projective varieties and uh, so if you have a homogeneous ideal, homogeneous ideals uh, in the kx1 xn plus 1 to algebraic sets, projective algebraic sets of course, in the in pn. This way you take the zero set of, uh, so for, if you have an ideal, take the zero set, it's an algebraic set. And conversely, if you take any, uh, if you take any subset of alge or algebraic set, uh, any set, it's uh, any set actually in PM, uh, it's ideal is homogeneous. And uh, of course, so we have this operation for, uh, for affine varieties as well, uh, affine algebraic sets. Uh, if uh, we also have these operations for affine. Uh, in in uh, for a fine a fine case, namely, if you have an ideal, you can look at it as zero set. It's an algebraic set, and if you have a set, you look at its ideal. That is, uh, it's an ideal in and. Okay, excellent. In the polynomial ring, uh, but if there is a so it might be confusing. Uh, but this, uh, 
uh, if there's a confusion, then we will write. VP and IP for projective uh, operations. So for example, this will be VP, this will be IP, projective operations. And, uh, and VI or AI for define operations. Well, let me give one example. Uh, if we take the, let's say n is equal to two, one, n is equal to, uh, well, let's consider in P1, P1, two, uh, and, a2, A1. So if you have, uh, if you take the polynomial, if you take the polynomial f of, let's say xy, f xy is equal to, let's say, just say f of x is equal to x minus one, for example. So in the affine case, this is a, a1, sorry. In the affine case, uh, it is zero set is one, but in the projective case, in the projective case, the, this is, we should think of this as two, with, polynomial of two variable, then, uh, then it is uh, zero set is empty. Yes, it is empty in this case, because no point satisfies this polynomial. Okay. Let's see, what do we have? What else do we have? So let me give one definition. So for, for an algebraic, so let V be an algebraic uh, set in Pn. Let's define. CV to be this x1, xn plus one in an plus one, such that this x1, xn plus one, oops, let me write, no, x1, xn plus one is in V, or, or it is zero. So this CV is called uh, a con, the con over over uh, V. So what is this con? See. Let's take n to be one. N to be one, for example. Uh, so in R2. So let's say, let's take a point P in P1, so that it is represented by this line. 
for example, a line like this. And uh, but this is just a single point in uh, a single point in P P one, but in A two, in A two, it is a line in between many points, and uh, this is the uh, if this, this is the point. Let's say P is equal to let's say one and M, then uh, then this is V. And C V, for this is V is equal to P, for, for example, then it is the this line. Uh, uh, the zero set of uh, Y is equal to uh, an X, Y minus an X. Okay. So we can think of this line as a point in P1, as a single point. And also we can think of it as a subset of A2, is a subset of A2. So as a subset of A2, that is uh, the cone of the point P. And this is the end of uh, lecture today. <laughs>